Well hello once again guys and welcome back to the channel. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the first part of the In The Fishing Room series that we're doing. Great response, loads and loads of people liked it, loads of great comments so the format, you obviously like the format so we'll do plenty more of them. Now one of the big, I did promise throughout the video that I would do a video on how to tie hooks by hand, spade end hooks. Um, so I thought I'd do that quickly today. Well I've got a little bit of time spare. I was quite lucky really because when I sort of you know, grew up fishing. My dad instilled it in me that I had to do all my knots properly and I had to learn how to tie spade and hooks by hand. He wouldn't have me tie him with a hook tire. Uh, and he actually taught himself how to do it and obviously passed that on to me. So um, I've never ever used a hook tire. I've just, it's just never been, I've just found it so much easier just using my hands. Not saying hook tires are bad or anything like that, it's just what works for me. Um, and it's a really, really simple knot that's strong, doesn't damage the line, and it just never lets you down. So I thought I'd quickly show you how I go about doing it. There's a few steps. I've used big, um, big hooks, size 10s, and thick line, no 20, to show you. Um, I've already done the hook tying, but I'll do it while I talk as well, just so you can see it. Um, first, the first big thing is getting some tension in your line. So whether you've already got your rod you know, the line coming through your rings on your rod, or you've got your pole rig, or whether you're tying hooks at home, get some tension. I like to put it between my knees, um, but I know like Matt Godfrey, for example, when I used to live with him, he used to put his spooler line under a bait bean tin, just to give him the weight to hold, uh, give him the tension. Whatever works for you, it's fine, but you just need a nice bit of tension. And the first part of the process, really, is to form a loop in your line. So. You should be able to see it on the video that I've sort of overlaid here. So I've got a loop there in and I've pinched it in between my fingers and then I offer the shank of the hook up to the loop. Um, so it's sort of laid parallel with the two pieces of line and the loops below it sort of protruding from the base of the hook. It's then a case of taking the loose end and then whipping up the shank. There's been much conversation whether up or down is best but I've always done it up and I've never ever had a problem. Um, I like to do like seven or eight turns or until I get to the top of the hook basically. Um, and then once you get to the top, pinch it at the top, which leaves, you can see the whip in and you've got a loop at the bottom of the hook. I then pass the loose tag end through the loop and then pull it. And it's important to pull the line that is effectively to the spool as well as the tag end. So pull that one first, obviously always moisten your knots and pull both ends and it'll tighten up nicely and you'll have the perfect spade end hook there. And if you can see that, I'm just going to trim it so you can see it. So there's one I've just literally just done there on the fly. Absolutely perfect. And if you can see that, if it zooms in on that, you just cannot get a better hook than that in my opinion. And I just I just like the control I've got by doing it by hand. A couple of pointers there is always moisten your knots, of course. It goes without saying with every knot, moisten it. It will, it will make matters so much easier. Get some good line, whatever line you choose. Make sure it ties up nicely. You know, obviously any kind of knot, it helps. Acupow is so smooth, it makes tying knots dead easy. I, I didn't moisten this knot, but I was just doing it for you and there's not a single bit of damage, which speaks volume for the line. Of course, it takes practice, so get out and practice. Maybe you just can't get to grips with it, but it is a simple knot, so there's no reason why you shouldn't. Um, it's, like, it's like a whipping knot, I suppose. Um, and I think that's about it, really, when it comes to tying spade and hooks. I've got loads of great videos coming over the next sort of few days, and the past week we've had the French visitor, Baptiste Cotelamont, over. I hope my French was good there. And he was over, and we were doing loads of bits and pieces for Preston Innovations and Sonia Bates. So there's going to be loads of little clips with him and uh, stuff with dares and people like that that we've been out with. So that's been really good. So, but thanks to everyone who subscribed. We went over that 11,000 mark. So thanks everyone for that. The videos are going to keep coming now. I've got into a bit of a roll with it, got into the swing of things. So thanks everyone for watching. And I hope that shows you how to tie a spade end hook properly. <laughs>